We are here at the 2011 drop event, and I'm here with, what's your name? Kira. Kayla. Dad. Emmy. Wiley. And what team are you guys representing? Uh, this is Team Liberty Bell Films Entourage. See what I want, what I really want. Do, 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 do. We're good. Any words of advice to aspiring filmmakers and animators at home? Uh, use a metronome. No, wait, that's guitarist. Uh, uh, no, I, I, n none really. Just make your films. Do it no matter what. If he gets enough money, I want to go on vacation. <laughs> All right. Hear that, Dad? Get money. Go on vacation. Don't bring your boyfriend on to set. Patience. A whole lot of patience. Don't feed your crew pasta. <laughs> don't feed your crew pasta for sure. Yeah, don't carb them out, you guys. Oh my goodness. I said, where's the vegetables, you guys? They didn't give me any vegetables. I was feeling some kind of way. <laughs> so do you have any funny or horrific stories from the set? Absolutely not. It was very serious. It was a story that just rips your heart out. And I think you're going to really enjoy it. So even your whole set, you are basically like make, pu putting onions everywhere to make people weep. Stone face through the entire thing. Think Buster Keaton, old stone face, you know. Yeah. Okay. I laughed all the way through. Uh, funny stories. Um, I don't really want to discuss the funny stories because it deals with plot secrets. And if you're going to put this online, yeah. But the funny stories, I'll just say it has to deal with am animal wrangling. Oh, my. Which was done. Yes. Oh, yes. And um, it deals with one of my actors getting peed on by a frog. And <laughs> it was really funny. <laughs> and if you could leave that out of the interview, that'd be awesome. But I just wanted to tell you that. Okay. It rained all week. <laughs> on the next day. So the first week of shooting was not rainy. And then the second week, it was <laughs> slightly problematic. <laughs> um, and also it thunderstormed terribly. Both days we were filming. And the, the third day we got pickups. Yesterday afternoon, we at the very last minute, we got two pickup shots. There were single single shots. So, and it was thunderstorming then also. Any um, horror stories from the set? Anything go wrong or anything really funny? I had my nipples flicked. Uh, yeah, it was a training session where I had to uh, toughen up so I didn't get chafed. That's all I can say about that. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, what the heck other thing do I keep asking? I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to be the interviewer today and you've just floored me. I forget what other questions I'm supposed to ask. Mm, uh, uh, anything else that we want to know? I, I feel like there's a third question I ask and now I forget. I'm an Aquarius. I'm 6'4", about 205 on a good day. My name is Daniel Brown. My team is 2... Uh, <laughs> uh, one dot. Wait, hold on. What's my team name? 2.41. I'm sorry. It's, it's been a very long day. Yes. Aspect ratio, 2.40 colon 1. And what's the name of your film this year? name of my film is... I just forgot. <laughs> hold on a second. Good fortune. Good fortune. Thank you. It's been a long 21 days. I am so happy that the 21 days are over. Um, so what would you say is the difference between making a film completely on your own and a 21-day film? The biggest difference... I think it's worth thrilling. Kind of like when the baseball player swings with two bats before he gets up at bat, you know. Plus, it's quite an adventure. I mean, 21 days, you're, you're constantly on the go. And you just, at the end of it, you're like, wow, I can't believe I did that in three weeks. That was, it's fun. He, he didn't do the editing this year. Yes, but who did all the producing and directing and writing? Who did all the editing and color correcting and post-production? That doesn't matter. Drinking on the job. Do you, did you have like a different experience this year versus prior years? Um, this year we had a weird experience not in the making of our own film, but we helped another uh, group out with the finding of a location. Um, it was an old farmhouse. Some bizarre things happened during the location scouting. Uh, we actually have a couple of podcasts up. We recorded kind of anything, everything that happened. We went back to the home um, later. We thought it'd be kind of a fun adventure to kind of uh, spend the night, see if anything 
happened. And one of our uh, teammates, Kent Green, along with Doug Seidel, who's on Team Justice Productions, who was helping out, um, actually went missing that night and haven't been seen for a couple of days. We're going around handing out these flyers. So uh, we actually hoped that we would run into Doug here, but apparently, no, his team hasn't seen him either. I haven't heard from him. Yeah. Wait, since, since when? Since which day? Um, since the, it's on the 19th, so only, okay. only a couple of days. I personally don't know what the hell happened to Doug Seidel, but I think it's a marketing ploy. And I don't think it's a good one, so I do not think that you should give him credit for like, oh, I'm Doug, I'm peacing out. And then he's going to put up a video blog of how he was saving babies in Uganda for like a week or something. Just so he can win like Mr. He's trying to, he's trying to out epic himself and I don't buy it. Did you guys not have your caffeine? Are you cranky? A little bit. We did, uh, Chad did mandate mandatory steroid use before filming. So I think we're just feeling the effect of that. Congratulations guys. Have a good night. Okay, so everyone's clock says 6.01. The clock outside just stopped chiming for six o'clock. We're officially past deadline. Anyone that comes in at this point, which I hope is nobody, we're gonna have to do the hard thing and say no. That's still scream, but not eligible for awards. So we're gonna head back upstairs. So that pretty much wraps up another Project 21 drop event. At least 31 films in on time in person, which is amazing because last year we had nine actually delivered in person on time. So the 31 that came in in person on time along with a couple that it looks like might be late and um, at least a half dozen or so teams that have checked in with on time films and confirmations of timestamps from other states, other countries. Um, we have a chance of actually having a record number of films in on time this year, which would be really cool. Last year it was 50 that hit the deadline out of 65. Can we beat that out of 62? I guess we'll find out by Tuesday or Wednesday of this week. Stay tuned and congratulations to everyone on time or otherwise that participated in this year's 21 day filmmaking competition. Project 21! Project 21, baby! Project 21! Baby! Woo!